I love how I'm just saying this about my own food. Like this is dope. Then she went to pluck the fruit. Okay, I am nervous. Vivesh, are you gonna be my bakra number two? And then Ash? Hmm. happy to see the response on the personal chef video where I basically cooked for my nephew and niece for 24 hours and I see that you guys want more food content so if you have specific ideas please leave them down below in the comments in today's video like the title already mentions I am sharing with you five different recipes for breakfast ideas some of these were hits some of these were misses with feedback on what I think you and I can do differently if we try these out again there are some very honest reactions in this video to me trying and testing some new recipes and some classics out as well let me not make this intro any longer and let's dive right into it before we go any further into this video, I want to tell you about a very cool new launch. The Dermaco has partnered up with me to share this one with you and I'm so excited to bring to you the 4% Urea Deep Moisturizing Cream. This one comes enriched with lactic acid as well as ceramides and it is so so good for dry skin especially if you live in the colder climates. This moisturizing cream is fragrance free just like all of the other Dermaco products. This one comes with very gentle exfoliation in a 100 gram pack and it costs only 329 rupees. This cream with its ceramide complex and lactic acid is fantastic for those of us with dry skin. The term tough areas is usually considered for areas like our elbows, our knees which are a little bit more difficult to moisturize. However, this cream does that so so well. It is a gentle exfoliator which obviously helps its cause and works very well on this one for dry skin. It gently exfoliates to slow off any dead skin cells and moisturizes at the same time very very deeply as well leaving your skin feeling very nourished. The ceramides curb moisture loss and strengthen the skin barrier as well. This leaves your skin feeling plump and so healthy. I've mentioned this before and I'll say it again. I love how with the Dermaco, they're making a social impact as well. Apart from making some great products, they've empowered over 10,000 students from the Young Scientists Initiative. And every time you place an order with them, they go ahead and link your order with a child through Boomi. And I think that this entire cause is just so, so special. I'm leaving links for you down below. The product is available on Amazon, Nika and Flipkart. And if you want the additional 20% discount, use my code, which is on the screen right now and shop from the Dermaco's website. Thank you Dermaco for partnering with me for today's video. This is a great product and I can't wait to see what you guys think about it too. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're starting off with seasoned eggs. Now everyone is so emotional and personal about the way they like their eggs. I like mine served with a side of mushrooms and sourdough bread, which is what we're going to be doing today. Don't forget to completely clean your mushrooms out because having mushrooms that are not clean is definitely not good for health. I love to put a little bit of cheese in there. You're seeing that I am very generous with my butters and my ghees, as you've seen in other videos as well. I make about three eggs for Jerry typically, and sometimes if I know that he's not going to have lunch, I'll throw in a fourth egg. Egg. Cutting your but your butter mushrooms up is really basic. I cut them up into twos, sometimes threes, and I'm going to saute these separately. But when it comes down to the eggs, eggs, I like to cook them in a little bit of ghee. I'm going to go ahead and put the oregano, the white pepper, the regular salt. I like to put some other herbs in it every once in a while, like I might throw in some parsley or thyme depending on how I'm feeling about it I usually break up the cheese slice and put it into smaller you know little bits like you're seeing and I whisk the hell out of this I also tend to go ahead and put some milk in there to make my eggs super fluffy which is how I like my eggs and now Jerry likes his eggs as well if you want to put in a little bit of water which I've seen people do then that's your choice of course I feel like milk is just a great option like I said I like to use butter instead of oil over here and I'm quite generous with my portions because I don't want any anything sticking onto the pan and I go ahead and put the egg in one of the things you see me do over here actually is that move it around of course but I keep moving the eggs with the help of my spatula this is so nothing fully cooks and becomes um, hard almost and that even the top layers get a chance to go underneath so my egg stays really nice and fluffy this is a little bit of an eyeballing it kind of a process I can't tell you that there's a, sh there's a sure shot science to it because there really isn't I just know I don't 
don't like the omelets to be supremely overly cooked and then in the same pan i go ahead and cook the mushrooms i think that this just adds that flavor in there and putting in some garlic over here you can replace the ghee with butter if you prefer a more butter garlicky taste for your mushrooms and uh, this doesn't really take much time because the steam if you close the lid on really helps with speeding up the process of cooking it jerry likes less garlic i like a lot more garlic so remember to eyeball your ingredients and go with the zone that you like and the amount that you like and then of course he's helping me cut up the sourdough bread because it is so hard that i struggle with it and the breakfast is ready hi even though you've tried this exact recipe before i lost my footage so if you could just give us a take two if you will of what you think of these eggs that you're having for the fourth day in a row at this point Oh, I can't. Best breakfast ever. Can't get enough of it. Need this every day in my life. Till I'm alive. Okay. Deal. Obviously, till you're alive only. Now I won't come to the grave if I'm still alive and meet the grave. Not a bad idea. <laughs> the mushrooms, not so much. Hmm. Probably because it's too garlicky. Okay. I don't like garlic. I like garlic, so I think I went. Garlic happy there. Yeah, but the egg, babe. No one can make eggs like me. Ah oh, ha ha! Screw Kajri, all this is it. Starting out with making some guacamole. Now, of course, I've seen a hundred thousand recipes about how easy it is to make guacamole on the internet, but I was doing this myself for the first time. I love, 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 love avocados. It is super healthy. It is super yummy, and they call it green gold for a clear reason. But working with it also actually is really, really easy. I'm a big fan of just sliced, you know, avocados with salt or even lal mirchi. Sometimes almost like. a different version of curry but here you're seeing me slice it up mix it up with some onion some tomatoes some salt a little bit of lime you can obviously add and subtract whatever herbs and seasonings you prefer i wanted to keep this really basic and simple because i knew i was going to be serving this with eggs also gerard and i have two completely different palates in general so i was going to be cooking his in chili oil whereas i was cooking mine in truffle oil he does not like truffle oil and while i like chili oil sometimes chili can be too chili for my gentle pallet um i did make a mistake over here i should have just toasted the bread it would have been a lot crunchier but i wanted to go ahead and really butter them up as you can see so that's one take away for you to kind of have from this video immediately from this recipe immediately i'm putting some cooking oil in the pan before i go ahead and crack my egg directly in there the flavor of this is amazing you definitely need salt as well to balance all of it out will you do a taste test we have sunny side eggs overly cooked just the way you like them with guacamole on a toast cooked in chili oil just like spicy the egg is cooked in chili oil will you finish your coffee and call me so we can do a taste test yeah i'll get you a fork and knife Okay so making the same thing instead of chili oil and truffle oil is really no rocket science but this is very very expensive so I want to put this out there that you can just drizzle some of this oil at the end it might be better Salt pepper bake come on give me a taste test His is cooked in chili oil mine is cooked in truffle oil because I can't do that much spicy and because he likes spicy And this is whole wheat bread Everything's whole wheat bread yours and mine Hmm Okay more than is okay Yeah Yeah. You can tell me if you don't like it. It always helps me like do the next round better. You know that his egg is like fully cooked because he is not a fan of runny eggs. Although he wants to start becoming a fan of runny eggs. Thoughts? I think the guac is really. It's my first time ever making guac. Okay, that makes me super happy. Amazing. But the egg is a little overcooked. Overcooked. Okay. Cool. Next time we'll leave yours a little runny and give that a go. Yeah. Okay, I like runny eggs, so this is why mine the looks. Is, mm, I have lots more guac to give you through the day. I made a whole avocado ka guac, so I can give you guac with anything you like through the day. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my test taste test now. Okay, I am nervous because I a I haven't made guac before, like I said, and b this is my first time cooking in truffle oil. Thank you, Ada. Mm. I've got my other ki chai on the side. I think that the bread, the whole wheat bread, 
I toasted it in butter. I could try and just toast it by itself next time. Like I feel like the crunch in the bread is not the way. Did you, you toast it in a tawa or? Tawa. Toaster. I didn't use the toaster. I love how I'm just saying this about my own food. Like this is dope. I could eat this every day. Yeah, it's just been replaced. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. So today while getting out of bed, Jerry was telling me eggs, I want eggs for breakfast and I said today I'm going to make different kind of eggs because the eggs I typically make him that he's so in love with and you've seen by now are obviously different from these. And I was like, can I just try something else because I'm going to try and make different types of breakfasts for us. Good morning from a sleepy Anam and a slightly messy kitchen. Today we're going to make something that I've actually never made before and that's going to sound a little bit crazy because who the hell hasn't made pancakes? But I haven't ever made pancakes myself before in a really long time or at least till my memory serves me. Today we're doing pancakes with a twist though. We're not doing pancakes with ready maple syrup or with whipped cream. I am going to keep the option of Nutella for myself for sure but I have these apples over here that are actually going bad and I was looking up online how I can kind of not have them wasted they are going bad because I over ordered a batch we love ordering fruits about once a week I think I need to reduce the frequency or I need to reduce the quantity that I'm ordering and anyway I did find a solution basically instead of maple sauce maple syrup we're gonna make apple sauce today and that is really great when served with pancakes now the initial plan for the pancakes also was to go ahead and make the dough from scratch where did my pancake dough go I thought I just kept it here so the intention is to try and make dough from scratch one of these days at home but since I was gonna make the maple syrup I went ahead and got us some ready pancake mix from Betty Crocker this is not rocket science I've seen people do it all the time and it's basically like making a dosa or eggs it's that simple this also actually apple syrup seems really easy from what I've seen online and if I'm just gonna be honest I do have a little knack for cooking well in general even the recipes I try first time turn out quite close to the way intended so I feel like a little bit of trial and error to chalta hai banta hai let's go ahead and get working on the applesauce and after that I will get to the pancakes if I had to describe making applesauce at home in one phrase, I think I would say that this is a patient person's game. It is a completely slow cooked process. It is something that can take you anywhere between half an hour to maybe two, two and a half hours, depending on how many apples you're looking to make the sauce out of and whether you want to cook this on slow or fast flame. I wanted to do it in the traditional style that I had read about online. So I kept this on a very, very slow flame. Obviously take all the seeds out, put them into as small pieces as you'd like and then go ahead and put the water and let it just cook basically a lot of people like to take out the peel that's me putting in some cinnamon in there for flavor you can leave the apple peel inside if you want that little bit more fibrous nature and of course the texture changes a tad bit as well some people remove it because it is a lot smoother and easier to cook it just like that I went ahead and added some raw honey in there as well again something that you can swap out with actual sugar or whichever way you prefer um, again this is a slow slow process so I would say make sure you start really early from when you're looking to cook it and don't forget to keep going back in there and shaking it up mashing it up because that will help speed up the process quite a bit but very very satisfying to do I have to tell you that definitely doing it again going over to the pancakes this one is absolutely a no-brainer you go ahead and use your dough put in some water I feel like with pancakes again because I was doing this the first time myself physically I kept the first pancake cake theory in mind and when I started to cook it I definitely have cut out the first piece of pancake first pancake over here from the tawa because it completely spread out and went about uh, the little thing to keep in mind if you're someone that makes dosas regularly like I know I do is don't spread it because that's the mistake that I made so I went ahead and took a lot of butter a little too much butter once again which is why I messed up the first one but then once you kind of get the hang of it by the second or third pancake you get the shape right you get the consistency right don't spread it really when you're in that wet phase and uh, after a couple of pancakes I felt more confident and something that I could definitely do more of I was using the Betty Crocker uh, brand which are the ready-made batters I actually want to try and make this batter at home at some point if any of you have done that please let me know down below in the comments you can see apart from the first one more of these looking very fluffy taste test bakra number one for my first ever pancakes with the apple sauce 
Give real na every time you just nod. He's not a pancake person typically, so I'm like nervous about this one. Say, say something. Homemade apple sauce. I think the apple sauce could be slightly sweeter. Yeah, I thought I put a lot of honey. Okay. I'm glad I split the. Yeah, Devyesh, are you gonna be my bakra number two and then Ash? All right. Nice. He's just like nice. But seriously, nice or like okay? You can say if just okay. Very nice. I'll make it sweeter next time. The apple sauce. मैंने apples आधे ही बनाए आधे छोड़ दिए तो good thing there. You can say if you don't like them also. Ah, like please don't be like. You like it? Yeah. It's not sweet and it's like. Mm. Huh? You like that it's not sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's sweet too. Hmm. And he wanted it a it little sweeter. Perfect, like. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, it's time for me to taste it because I also not tasted it yet. I look like a mess, huh? I was sweating and all. I went and washed my face. Hmm. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. But I'll make it sweeter for you next time. But it's kind of nice. My first time ever making pancakes. Hmm. <laughs> cool. I like it. I can do this again. Nutella, should you give someone? There's Nutella also to have with the pan, <laughs> with the pancakes. Would you prefer that? Because you want it sweeter. No, I don't want. Are you done? Yeah. You did second and third servings of the other breakfast, and you're done in one pancake. This does not pass the Jerry test. I I do not sweet. But it's not sweet, na? Nah? Everyone is saying pancakes are not Jerry approved. They are Divyesh approved and Ash approved. Then I think I'm gonna have them with Nutella because I like a little sweeter as well. Yeah. But the pancakes are good. I was worried about the pancakes because I was no, I wasn't pancake. getting the consistency right. Soft and it's like actually tasting good. Okay, good. Meet the weirdo I married who is turning the pancake into dosa by having it with dosa ki chutney. इसको इनोवेशन कहें कि जुगाड़ कहें कि पागलपन कहें आप हमें कमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बताइए आई वॉन्ट यू टू डो टेस्ट टेस्ट ऑफ दिस नाउ ऑल्सो फॉर द रिकॉर्ड आई डिड नॉट मेक दैट डोसे की चटनी अद्दा मेद डोसे की चटनी I tried it with Nutella and it is also a okay. I really like the apple sauce though I like that it's not too sweet. But I like both the combos. I can't pick one. One more person to get to taste test. Chalo. No Nutella. I made apple sauce from scratch. You're having you to first taste this. Then if you reject it you can move on to Nutella she also. I would reject it but years ago. Just shut up. <laughs> Then she went to pluck the fruit. <laughs> Listen, I've been slaving at that apple sauce for an hour and a half. Okay? Little like चखना तो डिजर्व्स देन भले रिजेक्ट कर लो अगली बार मैं बना दूंगी और स्वीट जेरी बिकम नो डोसा विद माय गॉड व्हाट इज इट्स ओके ओडो मैन हम्म इट्स गुड इट्स गुड इट इज लाइक मेपल सिरप आई मीन प्रीटी क्लोज ये माय फर्स्ट टाइम एवर मेकिंग एप्पल सॉस और पैनकेक्स आई हैव नेवर मेड पैनकेक्स बिफोर पैनकेक्स आर इजी बट दिस इज नाइस एक्चुअली आई डिड गेट द फर्स्ट पैनकेक थ्योरी एंड माय फर्स्ट पैनकेक वाज रियली बैड लाइक नाउ दिस मॉर्निंग So this is second pancake on words that's been served. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. Today I want to try and make shakshuka eggs. They're so popular. I've had them before, but I've never made them before. Clearly the series is all about me trying new things. So let's go ahead and prep for that. The only thing I'm going to be skipping in this recipe from traditional shakshuka is capsicums because a I don't have capsicums in the house. B we're not big fans of capsicum anyway. Otherwise I would have just gone down to the market and got the capsicums, but we're skipping it and keeping everything else. Onions are apparently one of the two main bases for a good shakshuka, but cutting it was so painful because I wanted so many onions in mine. So here's what happened. This is why the cutter is so much easier with my long nails. If you don't have this cutter, I'm highly recommending you get it for yourself. It finely chops your onions or whatever you're looking to chop so 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 well. I'll leave a link into it down below in the description section. Once I was done with finely chopping off the onions, I moved on to the tomatoes. And tomatoes are actually the main main base. Onions would probably be the secondary base for a good portion of egg shakshuka. I had so much of these when I was traveling, and I was really hoping to crack this recipe really really well. You want to make sure you don't take out the juice from the onions, yeah. 
I also had some fresh garlic paste as you saw before I went ahead and poured the oil into the pan. Please make sure your pan, your oil are nice and hot before you start cooking. If you wait for it to become hot in the process, it's just time wasted, heat wasted, that kind of stuff. I waited for my onions to become a little bit of yellowish golden along with the garlic and salt that you saw me put inside. Um, only after a couple of minutes did I go ahead and put the tomatoes in. My mom always told me that your onions need more time on the flame than your tomatoes do because that's a much easier uh, cook down process then I went ahead and put the haldi inside the turmeric inside um, you could modify spices bases your palate that's something that I think everybody should do while cooking this is where I left mine I did one round of steam and then came back to put the three eggs inside just to make sure that I'm not completely burning my eggs or over over overly cooking my eggs the steam definitely helped in the process um, but all in all I would rate this quite an easy process to do overall I needed a little bit more salt by the end of it when I did the taste test so that's why I added a little bit more salt before throwing on the pepper uh, the flame is on a super slow before I go ahead and put it off and move it away I believe that the pan keeps cooking things till you actually pull them out so keep that in mind depending on where you're keeping your flame anytime you're cooking absolutely anything Sleep. Good morning, sir. What are you telling me? Who else? Good point. I thought you were telling your wife. No, I'm telling you right now, and now I'm telling wife. I'm good morning. I'm about to make Jerry some breakfast, and I'm making you something new and different today. I know you're used to my eggs now, and you really like them, but we'll do different types of eggs today. What? Don't be such a skeptic. You've liked all my breakfasts so far, <laughs> except for the pancakes. Yeah, the pancakes did not fly. The apple sauce did not fly for you, no. I started out by leaving my sausages in some room temperature water just to help them thaw. They were in the freezer before this. The egg process is pretty much the same as I did before. I feel like one of the things with eggs is that I keep mixing up my seasoning every once in a while to keep things interesting. Sometimes I do them more desi style. Sometimes I, like you can see, I'm grating the, the cheese into the process over here. You saw me use slices in the previous egg recipe. So I mix things up bases the mood. I am someone that doesn't believe in specific rules for makeup or food clearly. And and I like to keep things interesting in that sense. Cooking used to be or can be fairly intimidating for a lot of people but once you kind of get into the groove of it you realize that you can actually make things work your way if you're a little bit more experimental. I kept these super super fluffy and much less cooked than the lot you saw last time because I wanted this to pair well with the sausages. For the sausages I put some butter in there. I let the butter kind of melt up into the pan. I used the same pan as you can see and went ahead and placed the sausages right in there. I did not slice them this time, I left them whole. Um, I know how Jerry likes them versus you saw me slicing them up when I was serving it to the kids in the personal chef video I posted earlier. Once this was in there, I went ahead and threw in the seasoning that I liked. Again, I shuffle around with the seasoning quite a bit depending on what I'm looking to pair it with. This time I did use the toaster for the bread so that they really really feel nice and crunchy and leave that really good balance between the eggs and the sausages. Um, I went ahead and put in some pizza seasoning, oregano, you can skip the salt or put some salt depending on how salty you like your food with butter and cheese. Uh, I mean there's no cheese in the sausage but generally speaking I put a little bit less salt than usual and uh, halfway through cooking it when I was taking it out I left a little bit of the juice in there. You can see me trying to pick up as much as possible with the sausages but if there's juice left in there please feel free to take your bread and apply it like apply it in the sense literally rub it around the tawa like i'm doing and pick up the juice use every part of what you're cooking because there's so much flavor packed into every aspect of it you don't want anything to go waste so while these were really nice and crunchy my sausages were nice and soft my eggs were nice and fluffy and all of it just went together really well because the sausages were heavy on the flavor i would say the eggs were a little bit of a medium and then obviously the toasted bread got the remnants per se from the pan. Mm -hmm. Looks good. How does it smell? Weirdo. Nice. Let's do a quick taste test. Yes, we shall. That usually means it's about average. 
I know why, but this tastes a little garlicky. No, not garlicky. There's pizza seasoning on it, just to kind of tie all the flavors together from the egg to the sausages. Also, disclaimer: my first time ever making sausages, huh? Like even just sautéing them. Nice. Yeah. Do you like the scramble? Yeah. I try to stick to the usual style that you like as much as possible. Yeah. Okay. Pass. I pass. Thanks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know I'm always reading, liking, hearting and responding to each and every one of your comments. So keep them coming. I hope that in 2024 I continue to entertain you and that we become closer as a community. I want to do more different type of content. I want to get deeper. I want to get more fun. I want to step out of my comfort zone a lot more. And hopefully you will be along with me for this ride. I love you so much. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.